Hi everyone, it's Ella Whitaker, Exclusive Black Status, and right now I would love to talk to you about different features on Facebook and where to post and what to do with your unique business. So I'm going to be posting many different posts in regards to your launch party and how to grow um, your group and different things along those lines. But in this specific video, I would like to talk about what do you do with Facebook in general in regards to your business? And I'm going to tell you the ins and outs and where to post and what to post and different things like this very quickly in this video. So your Facebook profile, which is your profile with your name, is your Facebook profile where you talk about all social things. This is what social media is about. It's about communicating. It's about statuses. It's about creating videos and everything. And that's your personal profile. Now, on your personal profile, you can never post your website link for Unique, ever. This is something that's going to be flagged and reported if you do do that. And so what Facebook does not want is your Facebook profile, your personal profile, to be spammy to people. It's not meant for businesses. It's meant for people. And so when you see a personal Facebook profile like Ella Whitaker. You can go to Ella Whitaker and you can see a whole bunch of stuff there. I do post about unique, but I post it in a non spammy way. I do it in a way where I'm sharing a look or some things that I'm doing or like today I did, you know, I bought Ray-Bans that are purple, but it's kind of like unique in there. So I'm very intentful in what I'm actually talking about on social media. On my Facebook profile, I do never ever say, come buy from me, come buy this, here's what's going on this month, buy this, buy this, buy this. This is not what I do on my Facebook profile. If I do do that, that is very, very rare. What you want to do on your Facebook profile is do 80% of your own stuff like family, different statuses, let's talk about lifestyle, let's talk about food you eat, um, things you're going, things that you're going to, your status updates, things like that. And you can then intertwine 20% of unique in there. It could be a look of the day and say something smart like attraction marketing, like Oh, do you see my smoky eyes today? Don't they look beautiful? I love all these products. It's a teaser. It's something that you put out there to your audience and they're going to ask questions. You never want to put something like your party link and say, hey everyone, here's my party link. If you want to go buy something, you can. That's something we don't want to do. This is not what your Facebook profile is for. Okay, so that's your Facebook profile. Separately, you can either do a, a group or an event, and that is separate from your profile. What I always say to new presenters is to create a group. Create a group of ladies that you're going to message and say, hey ladies, I've started a business, I would love for you to come into a group, and I will be blogging in this group, and I'm going to have it just for a select amount of women, and kind of like a VIP group. And you're gonna do your launch party in there. And that group is going to then translate and then transition into your VIP party. We like to say VIP party because it'll make people feel special, but you don't need to call it that. And your group can be like a blogging page. It can be a lot of stuff. It can be um, quotes during the day, like quotes, um, inspirational quotes, motivational quotes, and then include some unique products. You could do tutorials in there. You can even do specials in there. So when you do a group, what I would highly suggest is that you create a closed or secret group. That way, nothing is public. And in that secret or closed group, you can actually have specials in there for your customers. Are you gonna do specials right now? Not necessarily. I do specials with my Y cash that I may do some giveaways or whatever, but I didn't do that until I got into a couple months of my business where I had enough Y cash that I would do incentive and get giveaways for my customers. Right now, when you're starting out with as a new presenter, you may not want to do that. But in that closed and secret group, that is where you're going to be doing those giveaways. You cannot do giveaways and you cannot say free product or anything like that on your Facebook profile. Why? 
because it is public. Unique has that in their presenter's agreement. Please read your presenter's agreement. That is your responsibility. And in that presenter's agreement, you, they say that you cannot do that publicly because you're undercutting other presenters. Well, so let's use the mascara as an example. You can't go publicly and say, hey, let's say US pricing, $29. Hey everyone, I've got this flash sale for mascara and I'm gonna be selling it for $4 off for $25. You cannot do that publicly on Facebook anywhere. You only can do that in a private group. So that's why you want VIP people in there because you want them to take advantage of your specials or your blogging or anything that you're going to be doing that would, you know, entice your customers. So what's separate from your profile and your group is that your group is way more advertising and marketing for your business. That is where it's not going to be flagged on your personal profile because no business stuff can actually be thrown out there. It's more lifestyle. What I do save with my lifestyle is, you know, I love staying at home and being with my son and my business lets me do that. That's a post you can put on your personal profile. Another post is saying, you know, um, I love the package that I got and guess where it came from and it's a unique, you know, package from unique and you could say guess what the products is on inside. That's a lifestyle post. That's something that's kind of creative. It gets people going and you can even talk about new products like if you if you put it on, but it's not something where it's screaming buy from me or it's not saying to a person that it's completely spammy. That's where you don't want it. Now, another thing that I highly suggest for every single presenter is to create a personal business page, okay? And in that business page, mine is called Unique by Ella. Please read the presenter's agreement because you cannot say Unique Canada, you cannot say Unique USA, it's a misrepresentation of the business. You can say Uniquely Ella, Unique by Ella, but you can't say Unique blah 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 read the presenter's agreement of what you can actually do or you can just have it as your name as a public figure or as a business with under your name you can have two different profiles or you can have a catchy thing for your business name i would love to change mine to beauty by ella but unfortunately i have over 5500 likes on there so you can't change that unless it's an llc and which i will be doing besides the point so a business page is somewhere where you can really post almost the same type of things in your group on your business page and the reason why you want to have a business page is because you have a bigger audience on a business page on your personal profile you can only have up to 500 friends and depending if you're gonna have all your posts public right if you have some of your posts that are just selective for your friends of friends or just friends, they're only going to be able to see those posts in that segregated type of area. If you do a public post, then yes, more people can see it. But if you have it on a business page, this is where you can throw out all your business stuff. And if you're doing business posts like kudos, um, uh, graphics of a kudos with your face on there or you know mixing it up you can actually share business posts then on there and then post it onto your personal profile I do excuse me I do that quite often where I actually throw my link on there my party link on my business page and everything like that I post there um, I used to every single day I'm getting back into that religiously and being consistent and what I do is I post on there all the time. And if I want to share something as a business or a link or a, anything along those lines, I then share that post onto my personal profile. Because what Facebook doesn't do is then flag it as a business post because you shared it from a business page. If you share it, it's not really posting on your personal profile. It's not an original post, it's a shared post. So your business page is really important. You can have blogging on there. You can have tips and tricks on there. There's a lot of things you can even put on there. Recipes, things that your audience will love to see. It doesn't have to be all unique and I highly recommend that it's not all unique because you want to engage people. Another Another reason to have a business page is that you can actually boost posts. You can sponsor posts in order for more audience to see that post. And you could do it for minimal amount a day, like one to two dollars, and it actually throws it out there to a broader audience. And so many different presenters boost posts on a small basis. It could be an opportunity video or a post that's getting a lot of likes or hits. 
and you can boost that so more people can see that. Now, boosting posts can only be done from business pages. So that's why it's really important to have three different outlets for your business. The outlets on Facebook, your Facebook personal profile that you can do more lifestyle and unique stuff, but more lifestyle stuff. Then your group where you can do specific things for the people that you're inviting in there that makes them feel special, maybe blogging, tips and tricks, specials and stuff like that. And then your business page is so you can actually get a broader audience. On your Facebook profile, like I said, you can only have 5,000 friends, even with your public posts and only get so far with your algorithms. But if you put it in a business page, it actually goes out to the entire Facebook. It depends on who's really looking up those things. That's why hashtags and boosting posts are important if you want to use your business page on a regular basis. So that is the difference between the three different things that we talk about in our business. You'll see that I have a personal profile, I have a VIP page, and I also have a business page. So those are the differences between all. I hope this is clear to everyone. If you have any questions, ask below. Bye everyone.